Hey babies, how are you? How are you? How are you guys? I missed you guys. So today's pick a card reading is about does your person miss you? So we're gonna find out if the person that's been on your mind, the person that you've been thinking about, do they actually miss you? Like, are they worried about you, or are they just not worried about you? Like, we gonna we gonna figure that out today, babe. So we're gonna see does the person on your mind miss you? Hopefully they do. I feel like they do because you're the best person in the world. You are. They were lucky to have you. They were lucky to have you. So know that. They were lucky to be a bitch like you. And they ain't never gonna find another one.
morning, you guys. I'm just over here trying to um, put the put some music on, and then I'm about to come over there. Alright guys, I'm about to go ahead and get started. So pile number one, you have the rose quartz. So the rose quartz is the stone of love. So they say like if your heart is um broken or you need some heart healing, it's best to wear a rose quartz. So I think that might be significant. I feel like this person does. I feel like I feel like your person is definitely going to miss you. I feel like this person is wanting to come back around. I feel like this person has been trying to attract you somehow. So you have, yeah, you have the soulmates. Does your person miss you? Yes, your person misses you a lot. They specifically miss touching you. So whether it's a man or a woman, they specifically miss touching you. This person may have been very, very like touchy very very like i don't want to say clingy but like you know like you ever been around somebody and you were so attracted to them like y'all just couldn't keep your um your hands off each other or they couldn't keep their hands off of you it's kind of like that it's kind of like that like this person literally cannot keep their hands off you at all and they're thinking all oh, they just want to touch you they want to hold you they want to kiss you they want to be close to you they want to be all up in your face this could be a type of person that's real kissy and stuff like that yeah, this person loves public displays of affection. So like holding hands, kissing, touching, smacking, grabbing your butt, all that shit. This person really enjoys that. This person, this person's thinking about that. Like honestly, I don't care if you just if you just left this person and you seen this person today. This person's thinking about that. <laughs> this person's like, every time you're not in this person's presence, they wish that you were. This person at night, especially at night when they go to sleep and stuff, they wish they can just hold you. Specifically, somebody, um, your person may used to go to sleep holding your boob or something like that, and they like really holding your boobs, like while they're sleeping and stuff like that. So this person just, they just want to hold you all the time. Like as soon as they, um, as soon as they, uh, they get home from work or as soon as they get get home from a busy day or like whatever they're doing, they just wish that they could, they could fuck you first and foremost, and then hold you the rest of the night without a care in the world. You get what I'm saying? without a care in the motherfucking world so this person is pile number two you have retreat so yeah this person wants to go out with you this person wants to take you out this person i don't know this person's really into holding hands and like this person's really really touchy like this type of person that you gotta be like okay like relax like you gotta say like they're super duper attracted to you like they cannot go a couple they cannot they cannot go too long without touching you like Without touching you, it's like it drives them crazy, right? And they, so it's like they love, they just love touching on your body and shit like that. Like, I can't explain, like, it's so, like, I don't know, like, it's so confused. Like, they, and honestly, I don't think they know why they're so into you and they don't know why they want to touch you so much and they don't understand, they don't understand why they're so attracted to you and it's literally driving them crazy, like, to the point they can't even, like, speak or function and, like, really. Like, we like to think shit like that not real because we everybody want to act tough. But, like, literally, this person, you have this person wrapped around your finger. Like, I mean, wrapped around your finger. Like, this person would literally do anything that you tell them to do. Like, you know? And sometimes they try to... That's why I feel like if you don't know they feel about you, feel this way about you, they try to hide that because they know, like, once you figure out how to get them to that point or you know about them being at that point, like, you're going, they, you're going to have them just doing anything. Like, you get what I'm saying? And they don't want to be out of control like that, but they already are out of control like that because they feel this chaotic energy towards you. But this person definitely wants to go off with you. They want to be alone with you. They want some alone time. 
They want to be alone with you. They want to know what it's like to be alone with you. They want to know what it's like to, some of them even live with you. You have let your friends help you. This person's been talking to you a lot about that. This person's been talking to you, talking to their friends about you. You got this person's been talking to their friends about you, trying to figure out what they should do, like what they should say, how they should surprise you. For some of you guys, if you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you're already with, like they're trying to like, I don't know if they're trying to perfect, they're either trying to propose. Well, if you're not, if y'all just dating, ask you to be their girlfriend or ask you to be their boyfriend or try to get you to ask them to ask them to be your girlfriend or whatever for my ladies or however you do it right or they're just trying to figure out how to get if they if but if you're not together this person's been asking their friends like how they how they should go about getting closer to you like what they should do to get closer to you it's also to the point where it's like their friends kind of like annoyed by it because it's like damn every time you're around you you bring up this motherfucking person like damn like we know you like this person goddamn like you gotta stop talking about this person like you know what i'm saying this person has a super duper fucking crush on you. Like a super duper fucking crush on you. Super duper crush on you. And they're asking about you. Hmm. I, see, I hear that their friends are kind of making fun of them. Fun of them like, oh, look at you all in love and shit. <laughs> oh, look at you all in love and shit. Can I get one more? For, uh, is this person this? So you have engagement, yeah. So this person, if if you if you're dating this person, of course they all they're probably already talking to you as we speak. If you're not dating this person yet, or you guys are not like living together, this person's gonna be hitting you up very soon to see like what's up with you, like just to see like oh how you been, like um how are you, like are you doing well, like you feel me, like stuff like that. This person's gonna hit you up to see how you're doing. This person's gonna be hitting you up to see how you're doing definitely they're thinking about they're thinking about what they can say they're thinking about what they can say so they can get back in your good graces to get close to you this person just wants to be close to you whether y'all together or not this person just wants to be close to you and they want to be able to touch you something about touching you so what is this person going to do it says commitment and giving so this person is going to get hit this person is going to try to lock you down if you don't want to be locked down then i suggest you run because this person is definitely going to try to commit to you whether that be a relationship a marriage or just more communication take you on dates stuff like that this person is going to actually make more time for you this person is going to lock it down put it in so what is this uh, so also what this person is planning on doing is uh they're planning on giving to you more so giving you more time giving you more energy giving you gifts giving you giving you like basically what you deserve what they feel like you deserve honestly so they're 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 um they're gonna make the decision to do more for you to get you to stay around because they don't want you to not be around so what is the advice what is the advice about so you have indigo children teaching and learning you have beloved one you have leadership and you have divine order so with teaching and learning i feel like this is um uh, the angels are watching over this connection the angels made for this connection to happen you know what i'm saying You were meant to come in between something for whatever. I don't have to speak on that too much. But you were meant to shake their life up like this. But that's okay. It's okay. Right? Leadership. So what you need to do is drop um, all leadership you have with this connection. So as far as like you making things happen or feeling like you have to entice this person to talk to you or feeling like you have to text this person first or whatever you feel like you have to do, spirit is saying no. Drop all that. Just live your life and exude the energy, the, exude the energy that you want to receive and be yourself. And things will come back into order the way they are. Everything is happening the way it's supposed to be. God has not forgotten about you. You are very loved, right? I feel like this connection is going to come towards you, but it's not going to come towards you until spirit feels like it's time for it to come towards you, okay? So if it hasn't already, if you're in this connection, just understand that this was meant for you. Like, just accept it. Sometimes we have a hard time accepting love, accepting people caring for us, accepting people being obsessed with us, and there's nothing wrong with that. You deserve love. You deserve people to do nice things. You deserve people to be obsessed with you because you're the shit, and you guys need to realize that power level, All right, okay? But with that being said, that is the reading. If, if it resonates, please let me know. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a personal reading that information in the description box below if you're interested in my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below and with that being said i'm going to move on to my next pile okay pile number three how does your person view you right now 
So you have getting to know each other. Well, how did your, is your person miss you right now? You have getting to know each other, new love, and this could be the one. So I feel like your person is thinking about you, and I feel like your person does miss you, like with the cards that you got. But it's like it's like a different type of like it's more of like an interest. It's more of like an interest. It's more of like your person has an interest in you, and they're and they're and they're wondering like, okay, should I pursue this interest? Hold on, give me a second to talk to your channel. Yeah, it's more so, it's more so an interest, if that makes sense. It's like they're interested in what you're doing, who you are. Like this person, I feel like for this, my power number two, people who pick this power, I don't think that you know this person very well, or this person definitely doesn't know you very well. So it's something that you did, like maybe a picture that you just recently posted on social media, maybe the last conversation that you guys had or something that somebody told them about you or something like that but something something has piqued their interest about you right something has piqued their interest something that you've done piqued their interest right and because something that you've done piqued their interest it's like that now they want to know more they want to be all up involved they want to be more involved in your life and like it's not so much that they miss you but more so they want to be nosy it's like what they thought they knew is not exactly what it is if that makes sense so like maybe they met you. i feel like for some of you guys i don't really like this energy because this person like when they met you they was like oh well you know like this is like this is like this is like a this, this to me this is a very cocky energy like this is like an energy that's like giving like okay um this is like an energy that's giving like okay um this is like an energy that's giving like okay I'm going on a date with this girl right but I don't, I'm not really pressed. I don't really care because I go on date with I go on dates with like lots of girls. You get what I'm saying? It's like that type of energy. Like this person is not really this person this person is not really pressed because whatever they do with you, they do often and they do a lot. You get what I'm saying? So to them, it's like whatever you got going on is not really uh I'm not gonna say not appreciated, but not appreciated. You get what I'm saying? Like you're not really appreciated. I don't really I don't really like this. I don't like this energy at all. All, to be honest i don't like this energy at all but this is it, it is what it is yeah i don't like this energy at all but it is what it is it is what it is but this person so this i feel like this person is going to come toward you though they're gonna come towards you, but not on some like shit like, oh, I miss you so much and I wanna be with you now, all types of shit. But more so on some energy, like, yo, what you been up to? Like, cause I've been hearing like buzzing around the city. Like, this is this the type of shit that's like, uh, I feel like, okay, I'll take that back. This person's not gonna come towards you. Not yet. They will, but not yet. Where that other car at? So what I'm seeing here, I feel like I feel like, oh, okay. I see exactly what's gonna happen. So let me go back to before I pick up tell you the other cards. Okay, so this person, cause like I'm trying to figure out how I can describe this to y'all because it's not like a I miss you energy. It's more like a I'm nosy, I wanna see what you're doing type energy. So I feel like this person is like I feel like this person is more so like, you know, um this person's more so like, you know what? I I fuck like I wanna know I wanna know what's up with what you call it. Like I wanna know what's up with you. Like what's up with you? Like what you doing? What you up to? Like you know what I'm saying? It's like energy like that. Like what's up with you? What you doing? What you up to? Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 like that. It's giving that type of icky nasty energy for real. Like so it's like I feel as though I feel like I feel as though this person is going to this person, but like or it's like giving like okay. Relax, Shay. Yeah. You don't have to uh, go too hard. Just relax. Like you don't have to rush. Those who want the reading will wait and listen. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to rush myself to get it, but I hear, I hear something. I hear a conversation. I'm trying to listen to the conversation that these people are having amongst each other. But I, I feel like 
this person was at a party and somebody was like, hey, have you seen such and such, such and such look good or such and such is doing this or such and such is doing good. And because, and it's like, okay, the first time they heard it, they're like, okay, whatever, right? Then they heard it again. Oh yeah, did you see, oh, did you hear about such and such? And they're like, okay, like that's weird. I'm hearing their name. And then the third time they heard it, they're like, okay, this person is buzzing. When I met them, they was a quote unquote nobody or they was just like one of the hoes. You get what I'm saying? So I wasn't worried about them. So it's like they're hearing people other people are finding you attractive around them and other people are talking to you talking about you around them and because of that it's making them feel like they want to um it's making them feel like uh it's making them feel like they want to they want to see what's up like they want to see what's up to see like like but this is not even a loving energy it's like i want to see what's up to see if it's worth my time to come back so now you have the codependency card so this person basically stalking you so this person right now is basically stalking you right they they're they're stalking you they're watching your social medias they're asking people about you like they're if you if you got a youtube they watch everything you post like if you work with them like they're what like this person whoever you used to whoever they're asking about is just watching you relentlessly like this person is going to know you every fucking move at least for the next six months this person's going to know you every fucking move now the crazy part is forgiving and learning this person knows this person does miss you but this person knows that if they were to come back to you they feel like they will look weak so they don't really want to come back to you because they feel like now you know your worth now you know who you are and now you know like basically they was a fuck girl or they was a fuck boy or whatever and they didn't deserve you and now when they come back they would have to either do right or they would have to act like a act like your little bitch like one or the other but to them doing right is acting like your little bitch because they probably treated you not so good or they just didn't put as much effort and energy in it as they should have initially, right? So now they feel like if they come towards you, it's gonna make them look weaker than you. So that's what they're that's what they're thinking about. So they're thinking about they wanna say something to you, like just to see, like, you know, just to see what's up with you, but they don't really wanna say too much with you because they're more they're more um concerned about their image and what you're going to think and you thinking that you're their equal other than uh, rather than beneath them that's why i said i don't like this energy this energy is like a little if a little a little um a little uh nasty but remember when you guys is crystal it was ugly on the outside and pretty on the inside so i feel like this i feel like deep down inside this person does really feel like you're attractive they really feel like you're the whole package they feel like you're smart you're beautiful you're handsome you're sexy they want to be with you they feel all these things but like on the outside they don't want to show that they don't want to show that they need anybody they don't want to show that anyone drives them crazy because they feel like they always need to have the upper hand in every situation you get saying i hate them ass people i hate upper hand ass people like you don't always gotta have the upper hand then we have compassion so what does this person want to do can we can i get one more card and then you have the catch and then you have per uh perceptive perceptive perspective perspective so this person is going to come towards you but they're going to make it seem like they're going to make it seem like oh i have this business offer for you i have this opportunity for you or i thought you might like this like they're going to make it seem like they're coming to you with something that they that you want or something that you need right but honestly really they're coming towards you because they know everyone else wants you now and because they know that everybody else wants you they want to be the one to catch you because everybody else is, is, is like basically you the it girl or you the, or, or or you him like you really him you really her so it's like everybody really uh everybody is interested in you but they want to be the one that captures you even though they, they had you like when nobody was quote unquote worried about you but i think people were always worried about you maybe you was not outside maybe you decided to come outside you maybe you decided to come outside this year and last year you wasn't really trying to come outside you get what i'm saying so there's that then you have perspective so with the perspective card like they're trying to right now they're trying to convince themselves like you know what even though i left them like even though i left them they still have no, and they're glowed up and everybody want them i'm no they have no right to act like um they're better than me or whatever like they're just basically talking talk trying to talk themselves up like yeah but such as such as would be lucky to be with me such as would be lucky you feel me? So that when I come see them, when I come, uh, when I come fuck with them, they're gonna be happy. They're gonna be happy for it. They're gonna be happy to fuck with me because I don't like, you know, what I'm like they talking, they're talking themselves up like that. Like they're they basically trying to make you feel, they're basically trying to feel like, trying to make it seem like you're going to be happy 
because they're talking to you in the first place because they don't have to talk to you. That's how that's how they're going about it. And like I feel like that's cool, but I don't really like that energy. But I mean, y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do, power number two. But for real, for real, that's the type of energy I would say, like hit rocks. Like fuck you, like bitch, you ain't nobody. Like you get what I'm saying? That's what I would say to this type of person. Let's see what you got. What's your advice? So you have Claire sentence. Notice the reoccurring physical and emotional feelings. So basically, if you always felt bad, your advice is if you always felt bad around this person or you always feel bad around this person, pay attention to that. Like, what we got to realize is everybody is a spiritual motherfucking being. Yes, we got bills. Yes, we got all this bullshit that we made up to make our life fucking hard and kill our earth. You know, spirit didn't tell us we had to do none of this shit. God didn't tell us we had to do none of this shit. We did this shit. But just because we did all this shit does not mean that however he created the earth to be in the first place, it's not like that. So all those spiritual rules still exist. We just have two sets of rules to follow them. Our spiritual rules and then our people-made rules. So spirit is, but I say it like to say this. When you get a feeling, it is not hocus pocus ha ha lu, lu like you know what i'm saying no that is your higher self telling you how you should how you should handle something or telling you something is bad for you spirituality i don't even know how i'm explaining that to y'all i don't know i feel like somebody is just just now why this is their first pick a car reading or it's their uh like they just don't believe in like everything because like what kills me is some people who believe will watch a pick a car reading but they won't actually believe in magic they won't actually believe in spirits like they'll, they'll pick and choose such i don't understand because really like y'all listen <sighs> <laughs> I didn't see you some shit. And after that, I don't, you know, after that, I don't even question shit no more. I don't, I don't even question shit no more. If a motherfucker come and tell me they seen a leprechaun walk across their bed, that motherfucker probably seen that leprechaun. That's how I feel about that. So that, what I, but I say that that's how you need to feel about your feelings and your emotions and the signs that you are given. Because this is not a fucking good person. This person does not like you. This person likes the thought of you and this person is worried about status and, and, and shit like that. This person is a fuck ass energy. They got some fuck ass energy with them fuck ass energy with them like even with your first car i feel like your inner your inner child your higher self whoever this is because this is an uh, uh, uh extension of you doesn't even like this person like you're like fucking sitting here blushing and shit like oh my god such and such is talking to me and your higher self is looking at this nigga like i don't even want this motherfucker in your life why do you keep inviting him here it's like oh my god why are you in here and every time they come over your higher self go upstairs because they don't want to be around you because you're around that you know what i'm saying and maybe if you notice like maybe stuff your life doesn't go as well when that person is around you get what i'm saying so think about that okay think about that power number two but i still have to say is like just make the best decision for you notice your, your how you feel around this person because that's what the that's what the truth is okay but with, with that being said that is your reading power number one um i'm a power number two i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in getting a personal reading that information description box below if you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below and with that being said i'm going to move on to my third pile okay pile number pile number three let's see is your person miss you so you have you deserve love so does your person miss you you have this red stone. This is just a, a red stone that I picked up outside that I really like. It's like a clay stone. It's really bright red. And it's like really, I picked it up because it's very noticeable and it's, and it's bright red. So the reason why I feel as though your person uh, misses you. And I feel like what maybe why you picked that stone is because your person is very much focused on you. Like this person thinks about you all day, every single day. Like anytime they got some free time. And this person, if they haven't gotten you already, they're thinking about getting you. If this is a person that, that has you already, they're thinking about how to keep you. Like, this person is totally focused on you. However, the thing, the only thing that's different with this, because, like, maybe you are attracted to both piles for some of you, but some of you guys wasn't. In pile number one, their person was more so obsessive. Your person is very structured and very calm and very, um, um, what's it called? Strategic when it comes to you. Like, this person is thinking about, like, okay, what can i they, they think about things like why do i like this person what do i like about this person 
does this person add value to my life? Do I add per do I add value to this person's life? You get what I'm saying? Things like that. So this person is thinking about how you guys fit together, why you guys fit together, like things like that. Like this person is not just like obsessively like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Oh my God, you're so handsome. Oh my God. Like this person is thinking about it from a structural mind. This person's probably definitely a fucking Virgo. I'm telling you, a Virgo, especially if it's a man. A Virgo, some type of um earth sign because they're thinking about how they're thinking about how, uh, how, how, they're thinking about how to, like, if they don't have you, they're thinking about how to get you and how to keep you and how to make you fit into their life and how you can, how they can fit into theirs. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just want everything. They, they see everything, I don't want to say as a business, but like, they're treating it like a business. Like, they're trying to figure out, they're, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird structure. It's a, it's a weird like feeling because I'm seeing like Legos. Like this person's thinking about building with you. Like this person's thinking about, okay, this is going to be my husband. This is what my husband's going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is how many kids we're going to have. This is where we're going to live. This is what we're going to Like this person is thinking like that. Like they're thinking, they're thinking like that. They, they're thinking like that because they really, 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 they really want this to work out, but they don't want to, they don't want to waste their time either. Like this is the type of person like, okay, I could love you. I can miss you. But if you're not good for me and if you're not meant to be in my life, or if I feel like you can't fit into my life, then I will deprive myself out of peace. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they value their peace. They value their peace, stability, and structure more than they value love. Which sounds kind of harsh, but honestly, I will say, pile number three, you kind of want somebody like this because this some, somebody like this has a love that lasts, and they're intentional. They're intentional, intentional about things that they do. You get what I'm saying? Whether it be in, like this is a good part to have either way, because especially if you wild as fuck, like if you a wild as fire sign or, or emotional earth sign, or emotional um. Um, water sign, this is a person that's going to bring balance to the relationship. You get what I'm saying? This is not a person that's going to, this is a person that's fair, but you're not going to be able to push them. You're not going to be able to push over. You're not going to be able to um, push them over. This is a person that's not going to allow you to be mediocre, right? But they're not going to disrespect you. They're not going to make fun of you. They're not going to be mean to you, but they're not going to allow you to be less than. They're going to allow, they're going to make you, this is, this is a type of person where you get into a relationship with, a relationship with and you become a better person and they become a better person. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is a real good, this is a really good connection. I really like this person. It's, I like this energy. Their, their angels are helping them figure out how to get you on board with this if you aren't already. Yeah, this could be the one. This person feels like you're the one. This person's thinking about marriage. Yep, this person's definitely thinking about marriage. They're thinking about proposing to you, to you if they haven't already. This person's thinking about um being, being some type of committed to you. Like So even if you guys aren't about to get married or something like that, they're thinking about like, hey, like, you know, I want to be your boyfriend. I want to be your girlfriend. Like, I'm trying to make this a thing. Like, you feel me? Like, that's it. You you else you 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 a kept man you a kept woman you get what I'm saying and then you have unrequited love so with unrequited love what I'm saying with this is like the only thing is that they're, they're hoping that you take their hand in marriage or they're hoping that you ask them to marry them you get what I'm saying like if you're a, if you're a guy watching this so they're 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 they're, they're um. They're thinking about, like, if you're even going to go for it. Then you have true love, and they feel like if you guys do, you guys would be super happy together, and they're going to be super happy to have you, and that you have let go of control issues. So they, But they don't know if that's something that you want. Like, they feel like you're the perfect partner for them. They feel like they're the perfect partner for you. But I feel like they don't know if that's what you want. They don't know if that's what you want. And they. this is why I say I like this person, because this person is not only thinking about the things that are best for them. They're thinking about the things that are best for you. So they're trying to figure out if you... You, if they can fit into your life and if they're what you want you get what i'm saying not to say they're going to go change their self anything that's not toxic but like and i mean change themselves like let's say you don't like pickles and they eat pickles like they're not going to change that shit because that's not important they might not eat pickles in front of you but they still like yo i'm still eating my pickles you know what i'm saying and sometimes i might want to eat a pickle before bed and you should you know deal with that that's not serious but if it's like a thing where i need to communicate more you know, when I'm out, when I'm out with my friends, because that makes you comfortable, I can change that. This person's like that. Like if it's reasonable and it makes sense, this person can change that. But if it's not something that makes sense, they not, they're not a people pleaser, right? They're their own person, right? And they hope, they want you to remain your own person as well. They want you to be whole and they want them to be whole and they want y'all to come together as two whole people. That's why I really like this person. I really, really like this connection for you guys. I'm jealous. <laughs> 
I'm jealous. This is very, this is a, this is a grown ass man, grown ass woman. Like, and this person's ready. This is a good marriage. This is one of the marriage where people be like, oh, y'all been married for such and such years. Yup. So then you have integrity. So what I'm seeing here is this person is just going to wait. This person's going to wait for the right time. They're not going to, they're going to hang out with you, probably date you, probably court you, but they're not going to move in quickly and be like, oh, you want to get married? These are their intentions. These are their intentions. I'm hearing six, eight months for some of you guys. These are their intentions, but they're not going to say that yet. They're just going to date you and be with you and figure out and see if they can like figure out what, like figure out what they got going on. You guys figure out what y'all got going on with each other, right? Then you had wisdom, but they know that spirit is going to let them know when is the right time to ask your hand in marriage or when the right time, when you're going to ask their hand in marriage or, or ask for commitment. They know that spirit is going to give that to them. So you have relationship harmony and you have gifts from God and you have life of you. So spirit is seeing like this is a healthy relationship and they, they sent this relationship to you because they want you to be into a healthy relationship. This might be your first healthy connection. They want you to know this was a gift from God and from for you in them, right? And a life review. So start getting your life in order. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, start thinking about what you want and thinking about like where you want to be and thinking about how another person would fit into your life. And if you want another person to fit into your life and all that, think about all that because that is coming to you and it's coming to you very fast so those are things that you do have to think about and maybe for a while you haven't had to think about them but spirit saying like really start thinking about it because now your 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 turn for love is definitely coming it's here babe it's here so be ready for it okay but with that good luck and with that with that being said that is your reading i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this reading make sure you like this uh make sure you uh Subscribe to my channel, hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information description box below. If you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.